ready to just take all of my husband's stuff and put on the lawn and just put a list that says free, come get it. I don't think it's gonna fit. So I am at a place where I'm pretty dang sure that we are not gonna be able to take all of this stuff. When you've lived in a house, we've lived here for just over nine years and you accumulate so much stuff. And I thought we were fairly minimalistic, but looking at all of this stuff, I don't think we were as minimalistic as we thought we were. And I've taken four loads of stuff to Goodwill and we'll take probably several more, but I don't know, somebody needs to tell my husband we don't need as much as he thinks we do because literally probably half of the stuff in this room right now is stuff that I think we could live without <laughs> that he doesn't want to part with. So I don't know. Like, I mean, like, how do you do this? Right? Like, how is it like, what are you going to do when it, it's go time and we've got to load everything up and there's literally not room because the challenge is not just, okay, we have an RV that we can use as a moving van. That's not how it is because we still have to live in our RV for two weeks. It has to be livable. It can't just be, you know, shoved full of stuff. And you have to remember the slides are closed. We've got three animals that have to come with us. I mean, I have the back of my minivan, but it's not going to hold that much stuff. And so I am just having a little bit of a stress moment this weekend because I feel like we still have too much stuff. And there's, there's stuff that's my kitchen's not even all packed yet. I still haven't packed dishes. I haven't packed like the cups yet. I haven't packed any of the food yet. Um, Cause that's all kind of more like last minute stuff. There's still stuff in the garage that Ben wants to bring with us. I just don't know how this is all gonna happen. And um, I guess I, just, I, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know if we just last minute make a ton of trips over to the thrift stores to donate stuff like like what do you do what do you do when <laughs> you, there's just nothing else that's gonna fit so we've gotten rid finally of most all of the furniture items actually pretty much all the furniture items that we wanted to get rid of so we brought in to start camp chairs to be able to have a place to sit um the kids are not too happy about that because they like to sit and eat and it's a little bit more difficult for them to do that right now. So it's getting emptier in the sense of we're losing the big furniture stuff, but it's getting fuller in the sense of just boxes and bags of just stuff. And so it's gonna be really, really interesting. I think you gotta make Ben start loading up his Jeep now and we're gonna just see what we can pack out on that because we don't need to drive it. It's a second vehicle for us. We take my van most places we go Why we're not, you know, if we're not in the RV, we take my van most places we go as a family. So I think the next step I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna have him back it into the driveway and have him start loading up as much stuff as is gonna fit in it. So we've got a better idea of what's really gonna fit um, because right now, I'm very uncomfortable with as much stuff as I'm still seeing around that's in the bring pile. And I think it's too much. So I think our project for this afternoon, as far as our next steps for this afternoon and tomorrow is gonna be, let's load up the Jeep as full as it can get and see how much is really gonna fit versus not gonna fit because we only have one week left. We leave exactly one week from tomorrow. So if I'm gonna get stuff listed on Marketplace and try to get some more stuff sold, I need to get it listed like now um, because just a few days is not gonna give us time to really get it sold for what we would maybe like to get it sold for. You know, unless I let it go for super cheap, then it goes super fast. I think maybe if we start loading up at least the Jeep now, it'll give us a better idea of what we still really need to get rid of, which I still think is a lot. So I've utilized Facebook Marketplace to get rid of a lot of stuff, especially our large furniture items. And interestingly enough, we are just not big spenders when it comes to furniture in the first place. So pretty much everything that we've had, that we've sold, 
we purchase on Marketplace anyway. And then the plan is when we get to Florida, we'll just purchase stuff on Marketplace there. I've already kind of been scoping out what's available in that area, which I think that uh, we'll be able to score some really nice stuff for not a lot of money. So we still have more stuff to get rid of though. So we're gonna take more pictures and get more listings up. So what we're doing here is we are gonna start loading up the Jeep and see what we can get that's in the kitchen here into the Jeep. And somebody has obviously played Tetris. And somebody hasn't. So we're gonna Tetris as much as we can and I'm gonna show somebody how to play the game Tetris in hopes that it helps. I'm a master at Tetris. Let me get the door for you, right. pretty lady. All right, Miss Tetris, how you doing? Oh, it looks like everything's going well. Except for there's still a gap here where something could have fit there. So I'm gonna have to figure out something that can fit in that gap. This hopefully, oh yeah, there we go. That gap secured, see? This is empty space. We need to figure out something to go in that empty space. What can go in that empty space, Ben? What do you have? Hmm. I'm sure I can find something. Find something that will fit there. So we're T minus six days. So we need to be out of here and we brought the RV home from the shop today. So we uh, took it in for an oil change and get a new fuel filter in it before that we make the trek to Florida. And they found just a few minor things that they fixed for us so that we wouldn't have trouble on the road. Thank you so much, Wagner Cat in Windsor. Thanks to our buddy Brad, the tech that was just amazing and Lauren in service for that. So we just brought it home. We're trying to go through some of the basement compartments. Right now, this is the don't need pile. So we need to figure out what we're gonna do with that here soon. Probably go make a run down to the thrift store to donate it. And Ben is working on going through the basement compartments there. And then we loaded up the Jeep uh, last night and yesterday. So Jeep right now is pretty dang full. So I don't know if you can kind of see this, but it's full. And then we found like a cargo carrier thing on Facebook Marketplace. So that's on the hitch of the Jeep right now. So I got this um, really cool rack on the back of the Jeep and it, this is gonna come in really, really handy. So here it is. Man, the sun is in my eyes, man. Woo, it's getting hot out here. Anyways, so I got this rack for like 45 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. And so it was actually um, a super great buy because they go for like 150 bucks. And so what we're gonna do is put all of our, my tool box on this. And so um, it's gonna be great for just hauling all that stuff. Um, and that's loaded about as high as we feel comfortable loading it. So uh, we'll be strapping that down. Um, we still have a long ways to go. We still have all of this to figure out what we're gonna do with. Um, my brother-in-law's gonna take the lawnmower. So we'll be giving that to my brother-in-law. That's about where we're at right now. I just got through going through and putting the closet back together because when you have a diesel pusher, you gotta empty out the closet for them to get to the engine. So I just got through putting that back together, trying to organize that a little bit better for more space. So my next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run inside and I'm gonna start getting some of the clothes that I know we won't need over the next six days. So I, I'm still feeling pretty high anxiety over the fact that we have six days. And even though inside's looking a lot emptier, I still am concerned about how we're gonna fit all of this stuff. The Jeep is loaded as, as much as it can go. Hopefully we can get some more in here. Hopefully we can get some more on the other side. And then my minivan, we've gotta remember just the back cargo area. We've gotta get kids back and forth to school. We've gotta be able to get around and get groceries while we're down there. So. Yeah, good times uh, with the Grateful Glamper family, but we do know it's all gonna work out. And even though I might, you know, say I've got some high anxiety or whatever, it's just temporary because I do have the peace knowing that 
everything will work out in the end that, um, you know, we are people of faith. So, you know, we believe in a higher power that's going to take care of us in all those situations. So high anxiety, but not, but there, but not. So it's the roller coaster of, uh, downsizing and going on an adventure and uh, not really knowing for sure what's going to lie on the other end other than we know our final destination at this point is Florida so we'll probably know more once we get there but for now I'm going to get back to uh, loading up some more stuff and uh, getting us one more step closer lots of room in here to pack stuff yeah, remember we have to live in this too. So this isn't <laughs> a scenario of let's just pack it to the hilt. So we still gotta live in here. We still gotta access things and we still gotta get to the things that we need. So we're right now, I'm just prioritizing what has to come. Like just what has to come. And then whatever is like optional, leaving in the house until the last minute so that we're not taking up precious room with maybe what's optional and then leaving what could, you know, be possibly optional in the house till the last minute. And then if there's room, there's room. If not, it goes to the thrift store or on marketplace as a free thing. So I'm going to go get more clothes. And again, we have six days, so I'm just going to leave in the house what I think we just probably need for the six days. And we're also pushing our limits. We're not supposed to have this here for six days. But we're going to have it here for six days unless somebody tells us otherwise. So, um, Loveland Police Department, if you get a call, please, please just be understanding. We're moving, okay? <laughs> just, you know, let it ride. I know you've got better things to deal with. So, this is our current living situation. This is our uh, chairs, Lazy Boys, another Lazy Boy there, El Gato, our workspace, little desk and making pretty good progress. The kitchen, uh, this is pretty much all the stuff in the kitchen. Need to do dishes. And come over here, and this is really all we have left to uh, pack up. So I'm feeling pretty good about this. This is kind of the must have stuff. And so this is really, our basement and it's all cleared out clean and this is my office so nice and cleared out charity's office is all cleared out for the most part we do have some stuff for our business the inventory and stuff i know you want to bring the bed and i'm not convinced that it's gonna fit so this is how we figure these things out Let's go measure and let's see because Ben thinks we can take the mattress from our king size bed and lay it over the top of our queen size RV mattress. I usually make the bed. I usually make the bed. However, our son was in it this morning. Just so young. Width. I just measured in the RV. So where are we at for width? So we're at 77 wide. Okay, 83. So 77 and 83. All right, let's go check out the RV. Let's go check out the RV. Turn off those fans. All right. So, so 77 wide, because it's got to go from there to here. Yeah. Okay. So, so we'll start it from here. We're at 76. Uh-oh. Yeah. It's going to be tight. We well, have to it's smush not it going to work. There. So we're an inch off? Well, that way, but down here... We're way off. We might be able to make that work. We're talking about an inch. I think it's inch. gonna work. I understand that, but do you understand how big an inch is? Let me show you. <laughs> I know how big an inch is. That's an inch. All right. You guys let us know in the comments. What do you think? If we're an inch off on these sides, when this slide comes in, this butts up against us, so we are gonna have to make sure that the mattress can overlap yeah. this counter. So we, trying to even think of what day of the week it is. That's kind of how fuzzy that things are starting to get. Today is a Friday and we found out yesterday that the buyer for our house here in Colorado may 
have a glitch uh, with their financing. So interesting thing right now because of COVID and also people that are self-employed, there is a ton more verification processes that people are having to go through to be able to purchase homes. So um, we were planning on leaving on Monday so that we could get out of here and that's not going to happen right now. We're going to have to hang out till at least Tuesday because our buyer is not going to be able to find out what's going on with their financing until Monday. And we don't want to leave the state um, without knowing for sure what's going on there. We're still trying to get things loaded. Um, there's a crop ton more to load and I'm feeling slightly overwhelmed with everything that needs to be loaded. Now, the good news is when we first started this process and all of the things that we were talking about that needed to go, Ben has acquiesced to selling more stuff. So tonight the kids went over to the neighbor's house to go see some movies with them. And I'm going to be listing things on Facebook marketplace because now We've got three days. We've got Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday to finish getting everything sold, get everything cleared out of the house because we've got to get down to Florida for the kids to start school um, on time because we don't want them to go through this transition and then also be trying to start school kind of late versus their peers. So lots going on over the next three days. And remember, we cannot use this RV as a moving van because we still have to live in it for a minimum of two weeks, maybe longer if anything, if there's any hiccups, we're gonna have to stay in it longer because that would mean we'd have to relist our house. I don't even wanna think about what that means right now. That would mean a lot. But either way, we know we're going to Florida we know that this house is getting sold to someone, hopefully, who we want it to get sold to. And uh, we just gotta get this done. And I'm trying to get more stuff loaded up. I'm ready to just take all of my husband's stuff and put it on the lawn and just put a list that says free, come get it. I don't think it's gonna fit. I'm ready to just take all of my husband's stuff and put it on the lawn and just put a list that says free, come get it. I don't think it's going to fit. I already have the dinette completely loaded as much as I feel comfortable loading it because we still have to be able to move that slide in and out for sleeping and things like that. And we still have to be able to live. This has to be livable. It can't be just a moving van. If it was just a moving van, it'd be a whole other ball game, but it can't be. So, yeah, I don't know. We've got approximately 48 hours, 48 hours until we leave. And I still think we have too much stuff. So somebody needs to talk to my husband and tell him he doesn't need all the things he thinks he needs. I heard that. It's just one of those moments where I'm going to choose joy and just laugh because there's nothing else that I can do right now. But all of those moments where I was like, I think too much stuff is coming with us has panned out into reality now where the only option left to put things is now here in the shower. And so this is going to have to go in here which means, pray to God, all of the RV parks now have their bathhouses open or else we are not going to be able to shower. Which I think most of the RV parks have their shower houses open now. I know at the beginning of COVID, a lot of them didn't, but I think most of them now at least do. So the shower is now going to become storage for the journey there and where we're there for the two weeks that we're going to be there. So that will be fun. I'm not really one to use shower houses at campgrounds unless they're like really, really nice because I just prefer the comfort of having my own shower and my clothes and everything just all right in one space. Um, and I usually only use shower houses unless they're like really, really nice for some reason. But I guess I will be using the shower house. I'm never 
going to appreciate having like a house again, I think, as much as I'm going to appreciate it after this trip, just because of the fact that this isn't really like how RV life is supposed to work. RV life is supposed to be like you downsize to the point where everything fits in your RV and it's still functional. Like the dinette is not functional. Shower is not going to be functional. And that's not how you're supposed to go full time. If you're going full time, you're supposed to downsize to where it's, it's livable space, right? It's not a storage facility. It's not a moving van. Um, but in our case, it's going to have to be a little bit of both. So about to fill up the shower and say goodbye to the shower. We're leaving tomorrow, pending. Everything works out. We've possibly hit a little hiccup with our buyer. So we are keeping fingers crossed and prayers going that that gets ironed out in the next three days before we close. We're pre-signing and leaving because the kids need to get to school so they can be there for the first day of school. So, yeah. Why is it always so hot in here? <sighs> just don't know what else to say right now other than uh, I guess we're just going to have to move forward. So the coffee maker gave up the ghost and we've got everything packed up in the house in the mornings. We're going out to the RV to make our coffee. So that is one benefit of having the RV outside your house is that you've got a second backup coffee maker available. I don't know what I'd do without coffee. Utilize even more space than I thought I could utilize because normally we carry those water jugs, but since we put the filter on there, we don't have to buy bottled water anymore. That opened up space, but I've already used it because normally I don't carry all of like my vinegar and oils and things like that. And I've had to clear everything out, everything. So I've utilized all the space there is to utilize. So I'll like to, yeah, if you want to Tetris more in, let's see you do it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's the moment of truth. So here we go. Um, it's a little bit daunting because we still um, haven't closed on this house yet and things are a little bit glitchy <laughs> with our buyer. So um, we're still just kind of moving forward in faith that everything will work out, that um, God is in control, <laughs> that things will still close on Friday like they're supposed to, today being Tuesday. Um, there's no way we're using the shower in the rig for the next yeah. how long we're in it because it has now become storage. Yeah, storage. And Facility. One of the couches slash beds where the kids sleep is going to be fun because we're going to have to unload things off of it and reload things back on top of it every night. But all in all, I say we did a pretty good job. We're in it. Um, I don't even want to venture to think about being overweight on any of our vehicles because I mean, I can tell my van's driving differently. I went to go run an errand earlier. I can tell it's driving differently because it's so loaded. The Jeep is the uh, Jeep is sitting low video. in the back. So we'll have to stop just, by the cat scale. And even if we stop by a cat scale and weigh, I don't know how, what we're gonna do. What would you do? What would you do if we go to the cat scale and we are overweight? <laughs> not much. There's not much you could do. So do we yep, really wanna away, spend the money away. to go do the it's cat scale? It's just a scale? peace of mind. Like if we need to, if we're like, a couple hundred pounds off, we might want to get what rid of What if we're a couple stuff. thousand pounds off? Mm, that's a big problem. So. What would you do? So maybe it's better not knowing. I mean, we could go do it, but I'm serious. Yeah. What would you do? Yeah, anyways. So we're so. going to get going. Um, we'll keep a post on how this goes because this is not, this isn't RV life the way it's supposed to be. You don't leave your house and move into an RV that's in the condition that ours is in right now as far as how heavily loaded this thing is as far as stuff in every single nook and cranny, including the shower. Yeah. So anyway, we're off and uh, here we go. Okay. So we're gonna do, <laughs> we're just gonna take I-25 to Cheyenne and I-80 across. And then if we need to grab something to eat there, I can just go through the drive-thru in the van. So that That's is- the beauty of having the van. This time, yeah. Around. I mean, I wouldn't want to RV that way, but having, another vehicle behind at least it gives me the option to 
yeah. you won't go through the drive through or whatever since you can't take that through a drive through So right. you should go lock everything up, make sure everything's yep. secure. Get this show on the road. Keys are where they need to be. All right. So, but make sure it's secure. Let's go. When the garage started, this is the last time we will be inside the house on in Loveland, Colorado. I am going to go through the cat scale and see how much this bad boy weighs. So they've got a scale right over there and uh, I'm gonna go and get the Jeep and the RV weighed. My first way. Are you from military? No. Alrighty. Alright, I got to wait for the y'all come on in. Thank you. Okay, so I just checked and we're supposed to be not over 37,910 gross vehicle weight rate. So that's the RV and the trailer combined, which the trailer is the Jeep. And drum roll please. We are. 33,180 gross vehicle weight. The Jeep is 5,720 pounds at this moment. So we actually could have, you know, <laughs> we had another 4,000 pounds we could have played with. So I'm pretty impressed. And now here's the thing though. I would guarantee you probably, I mean, I have to do research, but I bet you that this being an older rig can carry a lot more than those newer ones. So thank you for an older rig on this one. We are good yeah. to go without any concerns that we're overloaded, so. So now I can go ahead and drive with a peace of mind knowing that we're not overweight. Right, or, and we only had a half a fresh tank, so we were right. concerned, all yeah. of that. It's been great tanks so. No, it's closed. I closed it. <laughs> we left the gray tank open in front of our house to do laundry yeah, in this. Washing. So anyway, closed. I like it. Yep, we're good. All right. So yeah, so we are good to go. Load High five. Off. So this has just been lovely and I'm really thankful that I've been driving my van. So we're about an hour away from Apopka, which is super exciting. Um, we are gonna go to the storage unit first and unload because there's no way I can live in my RV for the next two weeks or any length of time in the condition that it's in, it's too loaded with stuff. So we decided to run a storage unit for the next two weeks to a month, maybe, depending upon how long that things take with the whole house situation. Our financing with our buyer fell through. So we're putting it on the open market this coming next week. So now begins phone calls, all sorts of just logistical things that I have to do from however many states away we are, I'd have to count that up. But the house is in Colorado, we're now in Florida. And we have to put it on the open market. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of logistical stuff this week to get it ready to go on the market. We've hired a realtor in Colorado that's going to do an awesome job for us. We're super excited about that, but it's been five days of being on the road. In an RV, completely loaded to where it's just, it's borderline, it, this is not livable. Um, the way that it is right now. So we need to put some stuff into a storage unit so we can have our lives back at least for the next month. And then we will use the RV again as a moving van to move our stuff from that storage unit to the new house. Plan number one today, as soon as we get there, we're gonna get unloaded so we have our space back um, so that we can live comfortably for the next several and weeks to back. maybe a month. So we'll see how long that takes and we'll keep you all posted. So make sure that you stay tuned, make sure that you're subscribed so that you get all the latest updates as we go along and keep you guys updated on what's going on in this journey with our relocation to Florida. It's Dakota 
and Alaska here reviewing the new YouTube channel. So today we have a new YouTube channel. It's gonna be Dakota and Alaska. This is most of the things that we had, like the kids' beds, everything else. Hey kiddo. What you doing? Man, are we done yet? I am tired of this moving around stuff. <sighs>